This is part 5 of Link to XML tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss transforming XML to CSV using Link to XML. In your application, there may be a need to transform an XML document into CSV format or HTML format or to a different XML format. In this video, we'll discuss how to transform this XML on the left to CSV format on the right. And in our upcoming videos, we'll discuss how to transform this XML to HTML format or to a different XML format. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a new console application. All I have done so far is added this data.xml file to this project. I'll have this XML data available on my blog in case you need it. Now let's flip to program.cs file. We need four different namespaces, so let's bring them in first. We need a system.link. We need system.xml.link. We need system.io and we need system.text. So first, let's create an instance of string builder with the main method. Let's call it sp and we want the separator uh, to be a comma, so let's create a delimiter. And the delimiter is going to be comma. All right, so we need to load this XML data from this XML file. So let's actually get the path of this file. So this file is actually present in this project folder. So let's open the project folder in Windows Explorer, copy the path from there. And to load the XML data from an XML file, we have um, load method that's available with an X document class. So X document dot load and we specify the path of our XML file. So the name of the file is data.xml. So now this is going to load the XML data into memory. And if you look at this XML data, what we want to do is retrieve all the student elements. And to do that, we are going to make use of this descendants function. So we want all student descendants. And now what we want to do is actually loop through each student element and then retrieve the country, you know, append a comma to it, and then the name, gender, and then total marks, you know, separating each of those with comma. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to first loop through all the elements within this XML. Okay, so to loop through, we use for each method. Now we don't have for each here because this descendants return i enumerable of x element and within i enumerable we don't have for each. Um, so we have to convert this to a list first. So to list dot for each. And now what we want to do is for each element such that we have the string builder object. So sb dot append. What we want to do, we want to first retrieve the country of the student. So we are going to use this element variable, element dot attribute of what is the name of the attribute? It is country. So let's copy that dot value. So this should give us the country. Okay, and to that we want to append this delimiter that is comma so delimiter and to that now at the moment we are right here so we need to get to the next element there right so in order to do that let's actually copy this piece of code so now we need to get to the name element and to get to the name element so element dot element and what is the name of the element it is name so we get the name and then again we append a delimiter similarly we need gender and total marks so gender total marks and finally look at what we want in the output you know after total marks we don't need any comma there but then there are two invisible characters between the first row and the second row. Um, you know, at the end of this row, 
we have you know a carriage return and the escape sequence for that is backslash r and at the beginning of the second line there is this new line character which is backslash n so we need to append those two characters to every row so here instead of delimiter we are going to append backslash r and backslash n so that's going to close the append method and we also need to close the for each okay so now within the string builder object we should have a comma delimited string um, of every student now what we want to do is we want to write that data to a file and the extension of the file should be dot csv so we are going to make use of stream writer class let's call it sw equals new stream writer and here we are going to specify the name of the file including the path so let's actually copy this and let's change the name to result dot csv and let's use the write line method and to this method let's pass the string so we have the string within the string builder object convert that to string and then finally close the stream writer okay so at the moment we don't have that result.csv file within this project folder so let's go ahead and run this now so it says build fail let's see what uh, is the error okay we are missing a closing bracket there so let's run this now so now when we view all files notice that we got result.csv file and notice we get the data as expected so we have just seen how to you know transform xml to csv format in our next video we'll discuss how to transform the same xml to html table that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day